Buenos dias. Hola, amiga, amigo. Yo es WillyWoo.com. W-I-L-L-Y punto C-O-M. I'm a stand-up comedian singer. And yesterday, my singing teacher said, Willy, woo, you want to have a happier life? I said, see. Sí. She says, well, when you sing, you got to make love long, Willie. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm singing this song. Wise men say, only fools rush in, but I can't help falling in love <laughs> love with you <sighs> oh god ladies and gentlemen did i not make love long i'm a happier man my school teacher said congratulations willie thanks for holding and make the word love long in the song thank you that's why i'm a happy man Anyway, I woke up, I, you can't imagine, I woke up at Motel 6. That's no joke. No, I'm a joker. You think I'm joking? That's no joke. Look at it. See? This is my straight C. Motel 6. Motel 6. Well, in Chinese, the word for 6 is look. Look. Yeah, look. You know, with your eyes, look. And the, the word for happiness is look, look, you know, look, look, okay, six, look, 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 sounds the same, right? So that's why six, six, well, three, six, let's not go down that alley. That's a dirty alley, okay? The triple six, no, no, no. Just say the single word, see? The motel, they only use one, and they didn't have three, three sixes. Of it. This is this look hotel. Look, uh, look, hotel. It means lucky, happy hotel. They didn't say, you know, whatever. Anyway, I woke up as the six hotel here, Motel Six or Six Hotel. See, no, Motel Six is English, and the Chinese always read backwards. So, Motel Six English, Six Motel, right? Just like my famous uh, general surgeon, Wong. His name is Randolph Wong. It's like Randolph Wong. In the beginning, in, the, in front of his name, you know, on his door, it says, I gave him the idea because, you know, he's Chinese, I'm Chinese, but he's American Chinese. I'm like, I'm like the mainland. You know, the guys called FOBs, fresh off the boat. You know, the guys that are born in China. Now China was with five, six thousand years of ancient history. We wrote the Chinese words, characters up and down and to the right, keep going like this. That's Chinese writing, right? You go down and the next line, you go like this and you go like this. And you Americans, non-Chinese, write everything from left to right and then you go down left to right and then left to right. And uh, now where was it? Uh, okay, yes, yes, backwards. Everything's backwards, Chinese. So my Dr. Wong, in front of his name, he has general surgeon, right? Okay, general surgeon, because he does general surgery. He does uh, operations on anything in the body, your arm, your heart. Um, if you have a, a little hernia, like an umbilical hernia, that's the layman term for a belly, uh, umbilical, no, that's the professional term. Oh my God, it's too early, didn't have my, my caffeine yet. Uh, gosh, it's, what time is it? It's, oh, it's six, it's 5.45. Oh, of course, Motel 6 doesn't have their coffee until 6 a.m. Oh, it's there, it's ready. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, okay, yeah, it is ready. Thank you, thank you, man, I'm sorry. Hey, sometimes they're early, surprise you. We all like surprises. By the way, let me sidetrack you, hold your, hold your thought. I like to surprise kids during Christmas. Willy Woo, I love to be like Santa Claus, right? I can't be Santa Claus because I can't grow enough 
white hair because I'm Chinese. You know, Chinese can't grow any facial hair, but I can cheat. There's a thing called crazy glue. Oh yeah, glue that up, you know. Use long man, you know, that Fu Manchu, all white, you know. You know, red gown and hat and, and try to sing, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Just like the ones I used to know. Just like Ming Crosby, right? Yeah, by the way, WillieWoo.com, one year, I think it was in 1988, during Christmas, was dressed as Santa Claus. Not the Chinese Santa Claus, but dressed to look like the Western Santa Claus. You know, he had sunglasses on, of course, so they didn't tell that I had small eyes. So they could tell because I was, you know, I was like Santa Claus. And at that time I was fat, so I didn't have to put a pillow. And I would stand in the malls and as people walked by, I'd have a bell, you know, ring my bell, ring my bell. And I wasn't singing that song. I was ringing the bell. Ding, 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 ding. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. And people in the mall went, wow, there's Santa Claus. Wow, great. And I had a little candy canes and, and passed it to the kids. And this is, you know, this is a real true story, real. And then the, the security guard in the mall would say, hey, sir, we're going to rush you. You know, you can't be doing this in the mall. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And besides, whatever you give these kids, you could be poisoning kids, you know? There's crazy out there. So you get, get the heck out of here. Uh, and where are you, uh, by the way? Uh, officer, I'm uh, Willie. I'm an FOB from China. You're an FOB? Well, sir, I can write you up right now, deport you back to China. No, sir, no, sir. Yo, this will never happen again. Anyway, uh, so that's that's it. That's that. But wouldn't it be neat if just Willy Woo dressed like this, you know, with a warrior scarf and Cabo Wabo, you know, San Lucas, Cabo San Lucas of Mexico. That's like the Newport Beach of uh, Mexico, where they have all those ships and the yachts in the harbor. And then <laughs> drives by a Lamborghini. Yeah, in Mexico. We're not talking Newport Beach, but it looks like Newport Beach. Got all the ships and everything. And you got all these Americans walking around in shorts and, and, t and tank tops and flip flops. And you think you were in Newport Beach. And then, and then another sound goes, Run, run, run! A red Ferrari La Ferrari. The top of the line comes by. That's a two and a half million dollar USD car. I'm not talking pesos over there, man. Now this serious. They just they do it serious. Anyway, this is what I'd be dressed up Christmas time, and I'd have all my gifts wrapped up. I'd be wrapped nicely wrapped. I did myself, and I, I, I'd have a red ribbon on there. And it, the red ribbon says, Merry Christmas to all the God's children. I don't have to put a name. It says to all God's children. Children could be plural. So I don't need to put a name because if I see a child that's not happy, I'm going to give that gift to them. Okay? Uh, children that have no mamas, children that no, have no papas, Children that have no homes, children that have no food. These qualify for gifts from Willy Woo during Christmas. Doesn't matter what age, as, as long as they're a child of God. And um, they can be from, uh, you know, when they're crying or whatever, because they don't have a mama, they're crying. They're in a homeless shelter with a nurse or whoever, and they're holding it and they're crying. They cry maybe or they're hungry, but maybe they're crying inside. They don't know yet that when they get old enough, say, who's my daddy? Or who's my mama? I don't want that. I want to give them some happiness. So anyway, I'm gonna have these gifts all right. I'm gonna personally wrap them because I have gift wrap paper already. Yes. I have rows and rows of gift wrap paper and rows and rows of red ribbon. Okay, so I personally wrap all the gifts. I go 
Toyota's, you understand Toyota's going bankrupt, right? They're, they're, you know, they want to, <clears throat> they want to everything half off. Well, I'm moving with my school bus. My school bus. Why school bus? Children. You think of children, right? I love children. I fill up my school bus. My full school bus. I'll go find some school bus on auction because they sell them on auction, you know. Schools, after 10 years, they will put the school buses out of commission and auction to the public. This is a less known, unknown secret. You go to some county high school, they have these yellow school buses. The best one to get, I would suggest, is the the shorty. They call the shorty school bus, which is no longer than 19 feet. Ideal. You know why longer than 19 feet? Because that's the total maximum length for a vehicle to be able to park parallel parking in parking meters. See? A lot, of people, a lot of people say, wow, this is a good deal. I can get the school bus for $200. Yeah, the thing's 25, 26 feet, and they try to park it, and they go, <clears throat> you know, cars in front and back, and they have to wait all day or half a day or maybe two hours for a corner spot. When that lady finally finishes buying her all her shopping at Safeway or Weather on the corner, and she moves out, and then and then the new owner goes, beep, 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 beep. No, sir, that's my speed. I've been waiting all day. Then you him move your 20 foot, 25 foot in, right? Or the first space in the parking lot, no, that work. Because you back into the first space, your nose is almost like the crosswalk of the other side, you know, people walking by, now you're over, now you can't. So the choicest spot is the, the last spot of the block. But hey, what's, that's like one spot out of what? Uh, 50 spots and everybody wants to grab it. The Ferraris like to get it, the owners of the Lamborghini, because they, they know their, their choice. Anyway, sorry, I'm rambling on and on, but let me finish. Uh, no, well, let me finish. The ribbon design, I just thought, that's what woke me up this morning at about, what time did I say when I walked in? Like five. Like 5 a.m., yeah. You're not supposed to wake up until 6 a.m. punto, you know, oh, punto means uh, dot, D-O-T in Espanol. Please remember to say it correctly. It's, it's, it, the word is spelled P-U-N, you know, in like Nancy, T-O, P-U-N-T-O. It's pronounced punto. Now, I know you guys in certain countries outlaw people when saying the N-word. But in this case, don't drop off the letter N. You drop off the letter N, it's going to spell something that's not very uh, kind if you happen to say that to somebody that understands Spanish. Okay, you figure it out. Oh, no, anyway, um, I was going to say, all my gifts are wrapped up in these ribbons. I just, this is the thing that woke me up at uh, 5 in the morning. Okay, you heard of Jack in the Box, right? You know, the famous hamburger chain worldwide. There's a Jack inside the box, and he pops up. You know, it, it, it was a takeoff, you know, from a toy. You know, it, it's closed, the box is closed. And, ding, 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 Pop goes Jack. Pops up like a, you know, a clown, you know? Well... WillyWoo.com is going to design a t-shirt and the sales of it, the this net sales profits from it, the net profits is going to go to charity. Charity, yes, maybe kids without a home, kids without a mama, kids without a papa, kids without a house, a roof over their head, kids, kids without la comida. La comida in Espanol is food, okay? Charity for kill children. And our logo of our t-shirt will be a black t-shirt, you know, like black, like this. See the circle here, a Cabo, Cabo San Lucas? Here, see Cabo San Lucas, right? I will have a circle, picture this. A white circle on a black shirt. Inside, it'll say willywoo.com. And then outside, down here, oh no, up here, it says Willie in a circle, right? There's Jack in the box and it's Willie in the circle. 
and